following is a class on the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila, 7th chapter, text number 3, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 3rd of March, 1974, in Mayapur, India. Knowledge means tattvagyan, to know the absolute truth. In the Bhagavad Gita also, Krishna says that manushanam sahasreshu kasci jatati siddhaye jatatam visiddhanam kasid vetimam tattata. Everything should be understood in truth. So our this Krishna consciousness movement is trying to understand the absolute truth. So in another place Krishna says, Janma karma me dibam yujanati tata. Anyone who understands the absolute truth, factually, as he is, not by mental speculation, but by the parampara system. So, therefore, the author of Chaitanya Charita Amrita he is beginning with Guru, would be Gurvadi. Beginning is the Guru, the spiritual master, because he is representative of the parampara system, disciplic succession. Therefore, whatever we do, we must first of all try to understand from Guru. Srila Rupa Goswami also says in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Adho Gurbhasrayam, the beginning of spiritual life is to accept the bona fide spiritual master. Sadharma pricha, then inquiry from the spiritual master. Uh, the approach should be by full surrender. 
तद्विधि प्रणिपाते न तत्तम और तद्विधि भाई प्रणिपाते न प्रकृष्ट रूपे न निपात जस्ट लाइक यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू ऑफर ओबिशियंसेस टू द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर टू द गुरुज फॉलोइंग डाउन फ्लैट प्रणिपात नो रिजर्वेशन फॉलोइंग फ्लैट That is called pranipat. So one has to approach the spiritual master. That is the Vedic injunction. Tat vijnana tham. Tat means sattva. In order to understand the sattva was to absolute true, vijnana. Vijnana means practical science, not theoretical. Theoretical is gyan. When that is. Practically applied in life, that is called vijnana. In the Shrimad Bhagavatam, therefore, the statement is there: "Gyanam me paramam guiyam jad vijnana samanitam." Gyan and vijnana. We are very much proud of seeing things. Somebody says, "Can you show me God?" But just. Try to understand what is the power of our eyes. Now there is no light, so our seeing power is vanished. In this way, all the powers of our senses are conditional. Under certain condition, we can see. Under certain condition, we can hear. Therefore, at the present moment. Our life is conditional. We act, we see, we walk, we hear, we smell, we touch, under certain condition. Just like I bought my eyes, because my sight power is less, so I take the condition of a glass and try to see. Similarly, this material condition is like that. Spiritually, we have got the power of seeing, the power of hearing, the power of speaking, power of touching, power of smelling. But because we are covered by this material body, all these powers have become conditional, not absolute. So those who are inquisitive to understand. The absolute light or spiritual light, he must accept a guru. Therefore, Chaitanya Charitamrita Kar says, "Purbe in the beginning, Acharya Man Purusha Veda. If we actually are serious to understand the absolute truth, then one must have the shelter of Acharya." Acharya ban. This ban word is used when one possesses astarthe bhutu prata. So, when one possesses the shelter of acharya, then his knowledge is perfect. So, the beginning of spiritual life, adu gudbasra. That is the beginning. Every shastra, every Vedic scripture. Just like Krishna, he is the original spiritual master. Tene Brahma Rida Adi Kave Jo Brahma. Brahma is the first living creature within this universe. So he was also enlightened and educated by the Supreme Lord. Not that because he is Brahma, he is independent. Nobody is independent. Knowledge must be received from the authority, and the supreme authority is Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. So here, Chaitanya Charitamrita is the teachings of Lord Chaitanya, and his life, practical life. He is Krishna, and he is personally speaking. Krishna first of all spoke about himself in the Bhagavad Gita, but foolish persons, murha, 
अपजानन ती मांग मूढ़ा मानसिन तनुवास सो कृष्ण वॉज मिस अंडरस्टूड कृष्ण से सर्वधर्मान परित मामेकं शरण ब्रजा पीपुल मिस अंडरस्टूड देर फॉर श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन इज हाई पॉपुलेंसेस ही हिमसेल्फ हिज एक्सपेंशन हिज इनकार्नेशन हिज एनर्जी पर्सनल एनर्जी एंड मार्जिनल एनर्जी देर इज नो एसोसिएशन ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल एनर्जी एज इट इज सेड यट गुरु तत्व कही जाए पांचे विचार गुरु तत्व इज ऑल्सो एलॉंग विथ हिम ही इज ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड आचार्य मांग बिजानिया सो दैट गुरु तत्व हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन बाय द ऑथर कविराज गोस्वामी इन फाइव चैप्टर्स इन सिक्स चैप्टर्स एंड इन सेवन चैप्टर ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग द फाइव तत्वस ईश ऑफ प्रकाश नित्यानंद प्रभु इज ए डायरेक्ट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड कृष्ण ब्रजेन्द्र नंदन जे सचिशित हईल से बलराम हईल नीता सो नित्यानंद प्रभु इज द फर्स्ट एक्सपेन्शन ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण और श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य राधा कृष्ण नहे अन्न वैन स्पीक ऑफ श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड इमिजिएटली दैट हिज कृष्ण इन राधाज एटीच्यूड राधा भाव कृष्ण राधा एंड कृष्ण दे आर वन दे आर नॉट डिफरेंट राधा कृष्ण प्रणय विकृति अल्लादिनी शक्ति अस्मा राधा रानी इज एक्सपेंशन ऑफ कृष्ण प्लेज आर पोटेंस सो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज कृष्ण हिमसेल बट the pleasure potency of krishna is prominent in his activities because krishna in order to understand himself he took the position of radha rani to understand himself personally he could not understand his potencies but when he appeared as sri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu in the attitude of radha rani is love for krishna krishna prema then he could fully understand him these are very intricate subject matter to understand and this is the fact so as krishna expands himself by his omnipotencies parasya shakti vividaiva suyate krishna has got multipotencies we cannot imagine inconceivable potencies so the whole universe is manifestation of his potencies shakti parinam va ek sthane sthita sagne josna vistarina jatha parasya brahmana shakti sarvidam akhilam jagat this is said in the vishnu purana the jack the fire we have got this lamp it is situated in one place but the light and heat are expanding similarly krishna is situated in his own abode which is known as goloka vrindavan goloka eva nivasati akhila atma bhuta this is statement of brahma sangita He is situated in his own place, own abode, known as Goloka Vrindavan. But he is expanding himself. Okilatma Bhuto. Everywhere he is present. Andan Tarastham Paramanu Chayan Tarastham Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamang Vajami. He has expanded himself by his energy. just like heat and light the energy of fire expands it is very easy to understand similarly the energies 
multi energy, not only one, but multi energies. Parasya Shakti Vividhai Vasyati. So his energies are acting so nicely that everything is coming in front as if automatically done. But it is not automatically done. This is foolishness. To understand that nature is working automatically is foolishness. The nature is working under the direction of Krishna. That is real understanding. Maya dhakshena prakriti svati sacharachana. At the present moment, the so-called scientists, philosophers, they are simply studying the working of the material nature. But they do not know behind this material nature. The real powerful is there. Just like we are enjoying the electric light, electric power. But as soon as it has failed from the powerhouse, everything is stopped. Similarly, the real power is Krishna. He is the powerful Shaktiman. When He desires, there is creation, this material manifestation. And when He winds up, everything is finished. This is the way. So how He is doing that? That is explained in this chapter. Panchatattva. He is acting by expansion of His different features. So, Nityananda Prabhu is the immediate expansion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared here at Mayapur, this very place where you are now sitting, with all these five features, Nityananda Prabhu, Sri Adyaita Prabhu, and Gadadhar Prabhu, Srinivas Prabhu, so he himself, Krishna, and Nityananda Prabhu is immediate expansion of his personal self. Advaita Prabhu is incarnation of Krishna or Vishnu, Mahavishnu, three, and Gadadha Prabhu is the expansion of spiritual energy, and Srinivas Prabhu is the expansion of his marginal potency and marginal energy. Jiva tattva. Jiva tattva, shakti tattva, and prakash tattva, and avatar tattva. He himself, this pancha tattva. This pancha tattva will be explained in this chapter. That is the purpose of the author. Guru tattva kohiyachi eve pancher vichar. Consideration of the five. So although the absolute truth is one, he expands in his various features. That has been divided in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's practical exposition of Tattvicha in six, five personal, and the Guru is also representative. Sakshad Haritti na Samastha Shastri. Guru is also expansion of Hari for the benefit of the conditioned soul. For the benefit of the conditioned soul he is within everyone's heart. Isara Sarvabhutanam Riddese Arjuna Thishtati. So he is trying to teach us from within. And his sense is representative for preaching without. So Krishna is so kind that he is preaching about himself. Because of without knowing, without understanding the tattva, veti man tattva, without understanding the absolute truth as he is, there is no question of getting out of the clutches of maya. Māmi vaja prapaddhante māyā mītāṁ tarantite. One who surrenders unto me, Krishna says, he can get out of the clutches of māyā. 
Maya means this material life. We have forgotten ourselves that we are intimately related with Krishna. We have got a special function on His behalf. Just like part and parcel of my body, the finger has got a special function, the leg has got a special function, the head has got a special function. Similarly, we all part and parcel of Krishna, we have got a special function in relationship with the Lord. When we are forgetful of this special relationship with Krishna, that is called conditional life or material life. Material life means we do not serve Krishna, but we serve our senses. Kam, krodh, lo, moho, masajya, like that. That is material life. We are serving. There is no doubt about it. But every one of us, we are serving our senses. Kama, dinam, kutidhana, kutidha, palita, dhunnidesa. Therefore, in order to stop the stupidity of serving our senses, which will never come to an end, simply increase our bondage, we have to come to the spiritual master. Adho Gurdvāsra. He will teach how to convert, how to divert the activities of the senses to please Krishna. Krishnandriya tripti vancha tarnam prem, dhare prem na. The senses will act. The Mahāvādi philosophers, they try to stop the activities of the senses. Yogis also. Yoga indriya saṅgyam. The yogis artificially try to stop the sense activities. They are simply because common man, they know activities mean sense activities, sense satisfaction. So the yogis, they artificially try to stop the sense activities. That is called prana, dhan, dharana, asan, prana, like that. But that artificial stoppage of sense activities will not be ultimately beneficial or thinking that my sense activities may be stopped, I become silent, become one with the Supreme. That will also not help us. The real philosophy is the sense activities must be there, but purified. That is real life. Sarvapadhi vinin muktam tatparatena nirvalam. Purified. Rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti ritya. We cannot stop sense activities. That is not possible. Artificially, if we stop, even as a big successful yogi or jnani, it will not act. There are many instances. Just like Vishamitra Muni. He was a great yogi. So artificially he was trying to stop the sense activities. But it also failed that time. Later on, he met one beautiful woman, and he failed in controlling the senses. That is the history. He was the biggest yogi, Vishamitra Muni. Similarly, there are many so-called jnanis also, trying to become one with the Supreme. And that is also not possible. Chennera vindaka vimukta manina. Vimukta manina, they are thinking that they have become liberated. And that is not the fact. Why it is not fact? Tai asthavava avishuddha buddhaya. Because they did not take to the devotional service. Tai asthavava. They have no information of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, despite their severe austerities and penances and rising to the platform of Brahma realization, arujya krichena paraṁ padam tata patanti the fallam. Therefore, Śrī Krishna Chaitanya Mahāprabhu, 
He is practically teaching us with his five associates. Advaita, Nityananda, Gadadhar, and Sivasadi, Gauru Bhakta Minda. Therefore, if we want to approach the absolute truth, it is our duty to offer our respect to these five features of the Lord. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sivasadi, Gauru Bhakta. Therefore, in our Krishna consciousness movement, we first of all worship the Panchatattva. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar. Then we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Then it will be successful. Without going through the Panchatattva, with the mercy, nobody can understand Krishna. It will remain uh, a myth. Therefore Krishna says, Manushanam Sahasreshu Kaschit Jatati Siddhaya. Jatatama Vishiddhana Kaschit Vetimam Tata. You cannot understand Krishna without the mercy of these Pantsatattva. Therefore, Krishna, although He came personally, He taught the teachings of Bhagavad Gita and asked people, Sarvadhanman Paritajya Mamitam Saranangraja. But because we are murhas, we misunderstood Krishna. We could not take the last instruction of Krishna. Therefore Krishna again came as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to teach us how to approach Krishna. If we read the life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his acceptance of sannyas order, his preaching all over India, his chanting and dancing, his living at Jagannath Puri, his activities, his meeting with the devotees, his gundicha marjan, his rathajatra kirtan, if we study all these activities of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, immediately understand Krishna. Therefore, we are inviting you at this place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his birthside, to take the inspiration given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That will help us understanding Krishna. If you simply understand Krishna, tattata, in truth, by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Namo Mahavadanaya, Krishna Prema Pradaya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's activities means he is distributing Krishna Prem, love of Krishna. He has no other business. He has no other business. At the full youthful age, he gave up his family life, beautiful wife, most obedient, perfect wife, beautiful wife, mother, affectionate mother, very good prestige, social prestige, Nimai Pandit, learned scholar, everything he sacrificed. Tattva Sudhasthadam, Rajyalat King, give up everything. That is the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. And become a servant of Krishna, personally. He is Krishna himself. But he is teaching us how to become servant of Krishna. This is the significance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life. So, in this chapter, how Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Krishna himself, along with his personal associates, Sangha Pangasta Parsadam, Krishna comes to kill the demons. Paritrana Sadhana Vinasaya Duskita. This is the business of Krishna, two sided business. One side killing the demons, another side giving the protection to the devotees. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared on this part 488 years ago to handle the same two principles, paritrana sadhana vinasaya duskita. He, vinasaya duskita, he killed Jagai Madai, not by the body, 
but by their atrocious activities. Stop that. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission is to kill the demon, not by light, but by their heinous activities. Anyone who comes to be killed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his heinous, nefarious activities become skilled and he becomes a Vaishnava, just like Jagai Madha. So at the present moment, the whole world is full of Jagai Madha. There are four principles. Jagai Madhai means illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication and gambling. This is Jagai Madhai. So this movement, Krishna consciousness movement, is killing these Jagai Madhai principles. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, and no meat eating. So one side killing the Jagai Madhai principle and other side protection, chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Thank you very much. Yeah.